Hi, I'm Lila. And I'm Olivia. And we're going to show you how to make a date night dinner at home. It's good to make sure that the butter and marshmallows don't overcook and to, when you're mixing them all together to make sure you get the right ratios. If you're from our hometown, you might just dump a bunch of extra butter in there to make sure everything comes together, but totally up to you. I struggle with sharing uh, because I have to be the one in charge of everything. So Lila is a great sous chef. Yeah, I do the cutting, the chopping, the, the mixing, the side jobs. <laughs> we like to make the dessert ahead of time. That way everything is ready to go when all the hot food is ready. So we're getting the chicken ready to marinate and we really like to put a lot of flavor into our food so we add a bunch of harissa and spices to make it really flavorful. We like to cook mostly vegetarian uh, but sometimes we'll have meat on a special date night like this. We love to spend dinner together and cooking is definitely something we do to feel relaxed and close to each other. It's a date night activity. Date night activity. It used to be considered work and especially when we did it on our own, when you go home you cook something, it's a lot of work, but now it's like an excuse to spend time together. So it's like an excuse to have a date every night that we get to cook together. It's so cute. We made Rice Krispie treats in the shape of a perfect heart because that's the most Valentine's Day you can get. And our love is perfect. <laughs> So we dunk them half in chocolate and then sprinkled many, many different kinds of sprinkles over them to make them extra delicious. It turns out that this is my best art project of the year. 2019, your year. <laughs> Time for the taters. Um, we oil them up real good and then put some salt and pepper and herbs on them. And toss them all together. And toss them all together. Well, we like to make sheet pan dinners because um, our kitchen is very small and we're very impatient. So we like to just throw everything on the pan. Push it all to one side so we can fit everything on one pan because we don't want to clean two pans. So we put it in the oven to cook about halfway before we add the leeks so the leeks don't get too crispy on top. With this really spicy chicken, something sweet and a little bit tangy is a great way to cool it down. In this yogurt sauce, we're gonna add um, salt, pepper, honey, parsley, sumac, dill, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Now, we've been together a while, and we get to spend time with each other now cooking. It's really nice to put time into our meals and uh, eat a little better. The potatoes and chicken are about halfway done, so we're gonna take those leeks, spread those babies on top. We're a leek family. <laughs> <laughs> they're easy, you can put them on anything. They crisp really well, so they're good in the oven. They're good in the pan. They're not really good raw, but... <laughs> <laughs> Can't get them all. So it's really important to cook down the onions with all of the spices to get all of the flavors released. Add as much flavor as possible to your soup. This is really gonna make your soup pop. We call this our whatever veg curry soup. We eat this curry soup all the time because you can use anything you have in the fridge and it's very delicious. We love adding as many veggies as possible. It's like a combination soup salad. It's super easy. It only takes about a half hour to cook down all the way, or you can do like we do and just take it off the stove halfway through. It's still really good. And the leftovers are great. I'm just gonna simmer until those taters are tender, and we like to eat it right away. When we do have date nights, even if it's a night in, we always sit at the table so we can look at each other like human beings, have conversations. Instead of directly in front of the TV. <laughs> yeah, we like to spend time with each other. So focusing all that energy on making the table look really nice and uh, setting our dinner plates and all of that is really important. If you mix everything together with the yogurt, you get all of the salty and sweet and spicy. Cool yog is a nice refresher. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm.